Let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. They finished off the season extremely hot. They had a winning record with Antonio Pierce. Yeah, sure, maybe they didn't go 5-1 and one or anything crazy like that. But this is a team that played high-level football, especially defensively. They played with continuity. They played together. They played with chemistry. They played with a purpose. Max Crosby said it himself that he would demand a trade if the Raiders didn't promote Pierce to the full-time head coach. And then you go out there and you bring in Tom Telesco as the GM, a guy who has drafted several star players in the draft. He's also brought in some big time free agents. I'm excited for Telesco. I think he needed a change of scenery and the Raiders is perfect. He also knows the AFC West because he's coming from the Chargers. It's, just, it's a perfect scenario. But I'm not going to sit up here with a straight face and tell you guys that the Raiders shouldn't look at quarterbacks and free agency and in the draft because Aiden O'Connell, he's on the thumbnail the last four games of the season. I thought he played well. Going and looking at his stats, Hayden O'Connell, like, look at what he did the last four games of the season. So he goes up against the Broncos, two touchdowns, 244 yards, 64.5 completion. Colts, my Colts, two touchdowns, 299 yards, 63.8 completion. Against the Chiefs, 62 yards, not exactly ideal. The run game and the defense sort of carried that. But then the game before that, the Chargers, 248, four touchdowns, no interceptions, 120.7 rating. O'Connell played well the last four games, and if he comes into next season as the starter, as the guy, it's only going to make him better. I think with this defense, with the weapons, improving the O-line, improving the cornerback position, with a full year of Pierce, the Raiders have a chance to win this division. It's as simple as that. But I still think that the Raiders should look at the quarterback position and bring in someone to compete with O'Connell, just to keep him on his toes, of course. I don't think they need Kirk Cousins or Baker Mayfield, although those guys would be incredible. I mean, those would be big time pickups. They are going to go for a lot of money. I think the Raiders could just keep O'Connell. He's on a rookie deal. They wouldn't have to worry about it for the next couple of seasons. And then they could build through the draft because you guys have to understand the Raiders have the 13th pick. They can get a really good tackle or they could get the best cornerback prospect potentially at that pick. Or they get to take the best player overall. The Raiders have a lot of picks. They have a lot of salary cap to work with. In terms of AFC teams, it's the Patriots and the Raiders that have the most flexibility in the offseason. The Raiders are going to be one of the best teams in the AFC next season. They finished 8-9, and nine, which wasn't the year we had hoped for. But given the circumstances with Jimmy G and how bad he looked, and bringing in a rookie, well, O'Connell was a fourth rounder out of Purdue, right? So they, they, they played well. I mean, I was impressed with the Raiders and how they finished off the season. I mean, they lost by three points to the Vikings. They blew out the Chargers 63-21. to They beat the Chiefs 20-14. to They scored two touchdowns in the second quarter. Remember that game in seven seconds? They lose by three to the Colts. That was a road game, a Colts team that was pretty tough with Minshew. That was down to the wire. A couple of missed calls. As a Colts fan, that certainly the Raiders would have liked to have. Maybe they should have gotten it. And then they finish off the year against the Broncos 27 to 14. So we're talking about three and one over your last four games. Last five games, you lost those two by a combined six points. So the Raiders very easily could have won their last five games. And to that point, the division, well, the Chiefs ended up winning in the last game, but the division was almost right there. Against the Chiefs are now in the Super Bowl. So it goes to show that anything is possible in the NFL as long as you can win and get into the playoffs. We saw the Lions be up 24 to 7 at halftime against the Niners. We saw, of course, the Chiefs, who a lot of people were writing off, they're in the Super Bowl and they beat the Bills, they beat the Ravens and the Dolphins. So I don't think the Raiders are far away. And there's an article that came out talking about the Raiders need to address the quarterback position. And this is from a Raiders beat writer. So this isn't my opinion or anything like that. And I want to read and react to it. And you guys can give me your thoughts. So let's start. So Las Vegas has the 13th overall pick in this year's draft and could use that on a quarterback like Bo Nix from Oregon, who likely will still be available when the Raiders select. Should the Raiders decide to use the first round pick for a different position, they could always use free agency to bring in an experienced quarterback. So let's react to this, give you guys my opinion so I'm not just stealing their work. I don't agree with that. Bo Nix is not, I don't think he's a first round talent. You don't just draft for fit. Do the Raiders potentially need a quarterback? Uh, maybe, but you don't just draft the best quarterback at 13. You've got to make sure that he's your guy. And I don't think Bo Nix is the dude or JJ McCarthy or Michael Penix Jr. If Jaden Daniels falls to 13, then that's a different story because he has chemistry with 
Pierce dating back to high school. He was at the final Raiders game against the Broncos. If, if he falls there, absolutely, but I, I just don't see it with Bo Nix. I, I don't. Free agency it would be the best way for the Raiders to go about it because they could sign Russell Wilson, who's going to get released, Kirk Cousins, Baker Mayfield, that type of guy, and they could sit O'Connell for a year behind them. Or Russ specifically, if they bring him in for one year, because Russ is like 35 or 36, I guess Kirk is kind of up there too. Well, now you have Russ for the next year and you have O'Connell. That's what I would do. I think Russell Wilson's extremely underrated. I think he walked into a bad situation with the Broncos, especially his first year. But even like this season, Russ was not the problem. The thing with Russ is he doesn't throw the ball deep, though. Like he kind of likes to be safe and not turn it over, which I get. That's why I think the Raiders do need a quarterback that can throw the ball down the field and that can take chances. Uh, it's like Brock Purdy, it's going to be hard to find a Brock Purdy type of guy, but what he did in that second half against the Lions, just be aggressive and throw it deep, give your guys a chance. Like the Raiders need someone like that. So the Raiders could bring in a veteran quarterback like Russell Wilson, which is literally right after to compete for their starting quarterback position. However, Las Vegas could potentially, or sorry, could possibly have some hesitation with bringing in an aging veteran quarterback after an unsuccessful attempt at doing so with Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, that's the thing is, of course, the former coach of the Raiders, before bringing Pierce that was why they brought in Jimmy because you look at what Jimmy did with him in New England he looked pretty damn good but then you bring him into the Raiders and it just didn't work out so and Jimmy yeah that, that was a bad signing it was just flat out was a bad signing I was one of the people that actually thought it could work out and obviously I was wrong but Russell Wilson's not Jimmy Garoppolo I mean Russell's coming off of a season let me show you guys his stats numbers are often uh, are usually not misleading is what I was trying to say like Russ had a, a pass rating of 98 which is good 26 to 8 touchdown interception ratio over 3,000 yards remember of course he was benched at the end of the year to save money and that was with a Broncos team that just wasn't very talented of course they spent a bunch of money in free agency with Sean Payton to try to turn this around in a year and it's not that easy the Raiders have a much more balanced roster on both sides of the ball so yeah it makes sense why Russ and Denver didn't work out I mean I don't I don't think Russ was the issue and Broncos fans have been commenting on my Raiders videos saying that oh you want Russell Wilson good luck with that have fun I mean we're gonna act like Russ didn't put up top 10 quarterback numbers this season it was a bad quarterback year and Russ was certainly not bad so the Broncos look good they had a stretch this season guys where they were playing high high level football they were on a winning streak and looked like they were going to make the playoffs and they didn't didn't but Dustin Fields is certainly an option we'll talk about him tomorrow guys in my next Raiders video I'm not going to get into that because I can make a whole video on that I'm very passionate about Justin Fields I know a lot of Raiders fans would want Justin Fields but you got to understand that if you bring in Fields well now you're responsible for his fifth year option and then getting him extended because you're going to have to trade a second round pick for Fields. I don't like 13 certainly isn't going to be the the value for Fields. It's going to be a second rounder and it's 13 is pretty early in the second round. So that, that's a high pick for Fields who you have to pay. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, do I believe in Justin Fields? Yes, but also it's just the money is a big thing. I don't think the Raiders would want to do that. Um, I don't know how much Russ would go for personally, but I mean, your best option is always drafting a quarterback, but it's who you're drafting. I think, honestly, the Raiders are going to stick with Aiden O'Connell. I'd be surprised if they didn't. 